been to Livid before? Yes, many times. It's not so kind of like um, like every style of music kind of thing. It's not just the one kind of like heavy or, or soft. Or it's just everything, which is good. What do you think makes Livid so special? I think the people. Atmosphere. 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 Everybody expressing themselves and it's running the mark. The feast of it all. The feast of creative people. So I actually brought along a couple of pictures. One is of a shark attack that someone's. Uh, Ooh, I just, you know, it's pretty Australian. I thought we should go with the Australian angle here. Have you ever been attacked by sharks? No, it'd be a good way to go, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Would it be quick? Do you think? Mm, it'd be numb because it'd be so cold, especially in England. The water's really cold, so it'd be pretty numb. But that's true. Now, Reef have a. Uh, I'm, I'm not pissing in your pocket here. You have an amazing reputation as an amazing live band. Um, do you attribute that to like lots of rehearsals, lots of touring, or do you don't like studios, or do you love stages, or why? Uh, I, I don't know. We, you know, it's something we, we like to do, play live. So uh, we just we do play a lot of gigs. But you've got to be good live, and if people have paid money to come and see you, you've got to you know be half decent. A lot of bands are pretty cack live, aren't they? Really. Put your hands on. I like the, you know, Reef, or, or you know, like I was saying, yeah. Ween and Cake and all the one word bands. Was there some other option that you were going to use for your name? Was it kind of between Reef and, you know, Fish or Reef and Van or...? We were originally called Naked, but uh, there was a lot of other Naked, so we chose our, to call ourselves Reef instead. Yeah, but the, the shows, I mean, this is a pretty big show. Do you do shows like this in the States? Or are you still some of the really pissy little band over yeah, there? Yeah, we're still a pissy little band oh. in America, yeah. We play to maybe a... 500 people, 1,000 people. Wow. Yeah, so many. is it more of a challenge doing that kind of thing to where you've already got 20,000 or more people supplied? Uh, well, it's just a gig, isn't it? You just play your gig, you know, and get on with it, really. What an attitude. Men that know how to rock. Spunk here today. Spunk. Hmm. I think maybe um, Dom from Reef. He's gorgeous. The drummer. Actually, the chick out of sneaker pimps ain't too bad. The lead singer from Bloodhound Gang. Maruku Salt, possibly. No, not really. There's plenty better looking girls in the crowd, I reckon. Uh, oh, he's a crowd watcher. Reef. Lead singer of Reef. Reef. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about you? Who do you reckon's biggest spunk? Oh, the chick from Super Jesus. Oh, Sarah. Oh, the chick. Why weren't they called chicks? Signed pants. Wow. All right, there's a lot of hot, sweaty rock action going down there. Do you know, I love Brisbane. I love playing in Brisbane. Hey, what? So you got to be happy with the Livid Festival. This is totally awesome. We're really, really happy to be here. Are you hoping to catch some other bands here at Livid? Devo, possibly? Speak, Johnny. Yeah. Sarah? Yeah, um, I want to catch as many bands as is humanly possible. It's been a pretty hectic week or month or year even for the Super Jesus. Yes, it has been very hectic indeed. <laughs> Are you rocked out? Uh, no, not at all. We haven't even begun. Now, 
now Jimmy Pop, the Bloodhound Gang, taking Australia by storm, taking the world by storm. You hear it livid. I mean, what are your thoughts on the whole taking the world by storm? You think the word storm, or is it like light flurries? Maybe mm. something like that. Mild precipitation. Right, right. I mean, uh, maybe the comparison between Hitler and Pee Wee Herman. You know, yeah. Hitler took it by storm. We're kind of the Pee Wee Herman speed. Brisbane, Australia, booty cap on the southern hemisphere. Are you ready to rock? We are the Bloodhound Gang, and we have come all the way from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to kiss your asses! Now, are there any uh, bands that you're playing with here today that you're kind of familiar with? You've done gigs with them before, or they're rivals, perhaps? Rivals, yeah, Reef. You know we're coming for you. Tom Hawkster. No, we, uh, Veruca Salt, we like, you know, and been hanging around with them, so. I don't know who else is playing. Uh, today, Devo. I mean, is Devo something that you, you think, oh yeah, Devo are playing, or do you go, wow, I really have to see that? Everybody else is like, uh, wow. The only reason I would want them is to take their hats and plant my pot in them. Everyone's yeah. talking about Devo and the hats. Now, speaking of Devo and the hats and things, spunks. Are you familiar with the term spunk? It depends not, not, on what it means. Uh, as a good look, good looking person. It's a what? Good looking person. No, no, I'm not, like someone's spunky, they're good looking? Yeah. Like you, baby? <laughs> hey. Hey. Yeah, put the tongue back out. Yeah, when it was off camera, she had her tongue. Just like that. She, she, she doesn't actually have a tongue. It's, it's, that was really uh, slack if you just All right, Chamba, now we're going to go to a new segment. Why is everybody always picking on me? Because my 15 year old cousin has less acne. Why is everybody always picking on me? Hey, ain't less than since 1983. Why is everybody always picking on me? Because he got to groom and have a chimpanzee. Why is everybody always picking on me? Because he's white but got a nose like Bill Cos. Now, what about other celebrity people that you've slept with? Jimmy Pop? Slept with. Um, nobody I slept with. In a tour uh, van, maybe? You know, crashed out in the same van as? No, I, I've chummed with a lot. Like, uh, uh, who's some good ones? Marilyn Manson, Blur. Woohoo! We were going to do a song with Marilyn Manson. Yeah, we're not sure yet if we're going to do it, but the idea was I lived next door to him. That was the whole concept of the song. You know, and uh, we were going to call it 668 Neighbor of the Beast. The new god of television. Have you guys ever been to Livid before? Yeah, yeah, back in 94 we went. And I you went, skipped so a couple of years. I have skipped a couple of years, yeah. I went to Big Day Out, but Livid's pretty excellent. What is it about Livid that makes it so special? Um, I don't know, this year there's so many people around. There's, uh, there's like 30,000 people, you can hardly move. And just But you enjoy that? Yeah, it's good, it's good. It's pretty excellent. Tattooed! Tattooed especially for the show. And what about you? Where are, is this your first Livid? Yep. And where have you come from? Brisbane. Brisbane. And why haven't you come before? I didn't have a job, I didn't have any money. And now have you turned to a life of crime to support your livid habit? No, I got a job. I just come here for the stock cars, what's all the people doing here? <laughs> Mate, get off the track! Get off the bloody track! Now, spunk-wise, who do you think is the biggest spunk here on the day? Out, out of the bands, that is. Out of the bands? Um, no, the Reef, no, reef guitarist. Oh. Reef's guitarist. You're saying Bernard Fanning from Powderfinger. Mm. Oh, yeah. Bernard getting a couple of votes. I'd have to be uh, the girl from Vruk Salt. She's awesome. Yeah. Which one? Because there are two. Oh, both of them. I reckon they're just... Oh, yeah. We want to thank you all for being here for us. This is our last show in Australia. You guys are fucking rad. Thank you so much. Now, uh, you know, the weather here today, it's a bit of a... I mean, I like to talk weather with you guys because you just seem to, you know, have the vibe. Have you ever, like, played a festival and it snowed or it's, you know, there's been extreme weather conditions and it was cancelled? We, didn't we play a show in hail once? Where were we? We, in, we played in, te, in Arizona. 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 It started hailing in the middle of our set. We were wearing big furry coats and 
there were actual hailstones falling on our, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then we played in Spain recently in the summer in Valencia, and they had to cancel the show because this, there was an electrical storm and the stage collapsed. All the lighting trusses fell down, and luckily the band that was on stage at the time was able to get off the stage, but it was really perilous. about these kids I mean look look behind you there's you know 35,000 kids but they love you I mean how that must know? help how do you know that they love us because otherwise they wouldn't come well, maybe it'll go over because I'm gonna be on soon we'll piss off <laughs> um, we love them too <laughs> Rukasol, thanks for talking to us. Nina and Louise, go out there and just blast them away. 35,000, it's nothing. nothing. It's like 10 people, you know. Yeah. Have a good show. Thanks for Thank talking to you. us. Bye. 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 Have you planned your day out to the second? Yep. Yeah, you definitely. Have. Definitely. Have you got a program here or something where we can, oh, you can yeah. prove it with? Oh, here we go. Especially with the Diva and Ween thing. Yeah, because um. Are they head to head. Yeah. yeah. The, some of the bands are like we hate at that. the same time, like all the best bands like on the same time. Yeah. Now, who's going to win out over Diva and Ween? Diva. Probably. I'm disappointed, but it is a bit of a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So, but you haven't highlighted any of them there. No, because I only just got this today. Oh, okay. But um, some of our friends laminated stuff, you know, like oh, a written yeah. out thing. They're that keen that they laminated a map and a, and a timetable. Yeah, yeah and live it means a lot to us. You guys must know at least one side on my window, window makes me happy like a should Now, Spider Bait, what has been happening? We were just, uh, there was a little bit of a mention of the Viper Room gig. Maybe you could kind of fill us in on the, the Johnny Depp side of things. <laughs> well, we were so overwhelmed by the, uh, the, the very presence of the spirits of, uh, of, river. of Phoenix, uh, river. Phoenix River. Phoenix River, yeah, yeah, River. And um, oh, we just had one of those great gigs where everything goes wrong and nobody claps or anything like that. Then, if you're going to have a gig like that, then Los Angeles is the place to do it. Right. Did you get, you know, a good reaction? Were they going, yeah, Aussies, or...? No, 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 it was terrible. And, and what do you do afterwards? Do you just kind of go, well, you know, I mean, there must be some kind of group reaction after the show where you just go, well, does that really matter? I mean, the Viper Room? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. You kind of finding uh, better ways of recording yourself so that you go, wow, this is really what we want to sound like. First thing on my list was that Learjet that I've got parked out yeah, the back yeah. of my house. Um, no, all the stuff we bought is pretty basic. It's just like a, a tape machine so we can record stuff on it and, and a desk, and um, it's it's basically just so that we can do it all at home rather than um, just taping it on our little mono tape deck in the corner like we've done in the past. Right. So it's, it's not quite up there with John Farnham or Jimmy Barnes' home studios. No, no, we haven't got the 230 tracks, you know, of <laughs> that Boston had in the early 70s. Yeah. Uh, and very lastly, uh, Spider Bait, uh, when do you think they'll break up? 
Apparently we already have. Yeah, yeah. already. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, that was spider bait. Uh, they've got albums in the shops and stuff. You'll probably never be able to see them again live unless you're here at Livid. Yeah, let's do it! Look at the detail on this fantastic Foxtel Discovery Channel watch worn by Bernard Fanning, our best mate from Powderfinger. How are you, Bernie? Uh, great, mate. Thanks. <gasps> now, Lovely. Ian is meant to be up here as well, but uh, I think he's laying a bit of cabling. Laying a bit of cables. Get, got to get up for the, for the whole he whole gear thing. Now, Powderfinger, double allergic because, you know, just change your lives around. Oh, I'm a totally different person now. I can, I can tell. Are there any songs that you're planning to cover or have covered? Uh, yeah, we've covered heaps of songs because, I mean, especially at festivals, it's always fun to do something that people... We used to do I Ran by Flock of Seagulls before Pulp Fiction came out. And what else? Oh, we're doing a cover today. Yeah. Oh, don't know. Oh, no, please Maybe tell us. Surprise. Oh, please, Bernard, please. No, um, that's Entertainment by The Jet. Sasha Glass and got girl boots Electric train and a ripped out phone boot Paint splattered walls and a girl and a dumb cat Let's get a ball and a kick in the balls I say that's entertainment That's entertainment Now the film clip where you get run over by the Volvo Does that take me in or DAF? No, that's living type Living type Jabba I know you don't like us. I know you don't like our music. You're the I king of backlash, aren't you, Jabba? You started it. You started it all in the press. We're sick of guys like you. Jesus. I'm out of here. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so that involves the fantasy of the band killing their lead singer. And it's, I mean, is that really, is it a myth or do bands kind of really dream about killing their lead singer? Well, I think the band that I'm in do. out here all night in fact but let's not let's go inside and meet oh no wrong one no it is it's Devo my god oh, oh. oh there's I thought there was only one Devoid but this oh, an entire selection a caravan full of Devoids I'll just uh, park myself here <sighs> now who's who we'll start over here Bob number one Bob number one Jerry Casales now, you're more famous because you've done all kinds of other stuff and these guys have you know well, I know he's famous, but... Okay, so we've got Bob one, we've got Jerry. Mark. Mark. Mother's Baum. Or Bow. Or, you know, I mean, I should read more music books. Bob two. Bob two. Josh. Josh. <sighs> Diva. We've been in suspended animation and... We got a call asking us to come over here, and we uh, got out of our tubes and came. Wow, so obviously uh, Whippet and Girl You Want 
There was enough sales of that. Oh. Just before we, uh, this is just before we came out of the tube. That's the entrance. Yeah. 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 <laughs> This is just incredible. Devo history is being made here. You're even all wearing the same shoes, Doc okay. Martens. Except this, this one hasn't got the yellow piping. He's out. You cannot play. He's the drummer. He changes, at the, he changes up at the drum set. He doesn't, he, up to the drum set, he has to wear those. When was the last time you guys hit a stage and went, we are not men, we are Devo? Here? Well, anyway, when was the last time you hit a stage? Oh, we hit a stage uh, about uh, four months ago, Lollapalooza, mm -hmm. in the United States. And uh, what kind of amazing stage show can we expect from Devo tonight? <laughs> Just the fact that we can still do it is amazing enough. I didn't say that. I didn't say that at all. No, I mean, have we, have we got you spinning in the wheels or the, you know, oh. giant exploding things or... Better than that. It's a lot of kinetic energy. It'll just be like, it'll be like a, a ball of confusion that all of a sudden becomes crystallized into one big thought. Now, uh, what was the last song you released? Would it have been Post Post Modern Man, possibly, or something since then? No, the last song we released as a band was Post Post Modern Man, you're absolutely right. Wow, and I remember buying that. I remember buying that on Cass Single, love Cass Singles, because it had, what was that? You are correct, sir. Oh, thanks. Um, it had Whippet on it, I think, and you know, Whippet was the, the anthem. I mean, are you kind of just, does that, bother you being associated with you know it seems to happen to a lot of bands that they get associated w with one huge song and Devo are about so much more than just whipping it uh, well actually we feel pretty good about it because it's a song that we wrote and recorded so you know it would have been a lot worse if it was like an Everly Brothers song or something that we had nothing to do with well that was Devo I can't think of any remotely intelligent questions to ask you is there any question that you've been waiting your whole career to be asked the secret of de-evolution is it, you know, is it, can it be said in a grab? 